What's it like staying at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas in 2023? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, JK Shitters? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. We are back in Planet Hollywood, Las Vegas in 2023, checking out the casino, hotel, resort grounds. We're at the swimming pool right now. I'm gonna show you parts of Planet Hollywood that I haven't shown you in my last video. I stayed here in the winter about a year and a half ago. So I wanna show you Planet Hollywood in the spring slash summer because they have a nice swimming pool here and some new things in 2023. It is now the end of April and the Miracle Mile Shops right Innovation is not done yet. It was supposed to be done in the spring, but it's looking like it's going into the summer. And they do have a Chick-fil-A and your pinup pizza. And people want me to note in my cheapest pizza video that I didn't give this a fair shot. Even though slices are $11.99, they said that the slices are freaking huge. Pinup pizza has huge slices, I guess. Thank God I have diamond. Here's the diamond registration. This is the right side of the registration area. This is the VIP lounge. They have some pretty cool pictures of like Gwen Stefani and other performers. Is that Chris Angel? I think it's Chris Angel. Oh yeah, we're checked in. See that? And here's the regular check-in. Look how long the line is for that. Yep, good thing I got diamond, but I'll tell you the bad news later. Check this out. This is the pit stop for the F1 race. Look how fast it's going up. And the Virgin Hotels, that's where I'm going to be staying in a couple of days. Stay tuned for that. And the Hilton Grand Vacations and the Marriott Grand Chateau, which I've done a review of. And the MGM Grand, which I've done a review of. And here is a view of the Miracle Mile Shops. Wow, so Planet Hollywood. I just had a flashback to my last stay here. I remember that they put me up in a room right next to the elevators and I had to switch it because it was so loud it felt like there was like a cart just dragging across the ceiling left and right and today when I went into the diamond lounge they were cool but they were kind of like no bedside manner and all right I'll say it straight up so I booked this room through my Chase Sapphire rewards card and I said hey I booked this through my Chase Sapphire rewards card can I still check in here and they're like yes you're a diamond member but we're not gonna get rid of your resort fee so none of that tricky stuff so they were kind of like very blunt about it and I was like you guys need to be a little nicer especially to your diamond customers this lady was just like oh no you're not gonna get the resort fee blah 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 it's like you've been there and heard it before but you know what you need to treat each guest differently and treat each guest nicely now they did give me a room when I got in the maintenance guy had to come in here and fix a broken drawer and that was all right he was nice about it but for me I like to have the privacy and it was just weird because the first video there were a lot of problems you know and I had to switch rooms and then now this video that stuff all happen but I was able to check in through diamond I didn't have to fall in the line I'll give you a room tour of this and then I'll also give you a room tour of the part of uh, planet Hollywood I forgot to show you guys last time and then maybe a little bit of shopping around miracle mile shop so let's get to it but I just wanted to let you guys know that little quirk that happened this time around we're staying on the 32nd floor of the north tower of planet Hollywood and I will let you guys know a little more about the decorations and things that are happening around this hotel nothing bad has happened it's just been a weird strange kind of not rude but like very dry start to my stay here so let's see if the rest of this trip will turn around a little more here at Planet Hollywood. As much as I do love Planet Hollywood and the Miracle Mile shops the parking lot from Planet Hollywood hotel itself is a little of a trek you kind of have to walk halfway through the Miracle Mile shops so that is one disadvantage to staying here I guess along with the ticket machine not working it didn't take my diamond card so now I have to figure out if I can get out for free. Okay so I don't know if the card worked because I was able to get in and out of the parking lot in under one hour parking is one hour or less free and then everything else after that you're paying at least 12 bucks back theater is now what it used to be zappos theater you got miranda lambert keith urban the chicks and kelly clarkson chemistry I'd like to see Kelly Clarkson around. So there is a elevator stop to the hotel casino floor, but I went down to the lobby. This is a nice little six subway JLo 6 train. There's your girl JLo. Probably gonna be performing somewhere here. Good morning, JKationers. I'm in the mood of getting uh, the Earl of Sandwich coffee because that's pretty good coffee. So let's go downstairs, grab some Earl. And I need to hydrate up. Gatorade, please, some Gatorade. Of course, you guys know my favorite goes to spot in all of Las Vegas is Earl of Sandwich. Sandwich here at Planet Hollywood. It's open late night. They got everything your sandwiches, your soups, amazing coffee. I'm gonna grab myself a coffee. 
there you go guys, little tip. Grab creamers and sugars from your local coffee stop downstairs. Got my fresh coffee, it was only $2.99 here at Earl's Sandwich, so it's on the cheaper end. So today I just elected to get it down here. Free refills too, by the way. ABC Stores has the best deals on Powerade Zero. It's only $2.75 here versus the Gatorade that's like $3.25. Looks like we have a new Mexican restaurant to check out here in the fall. The Rosa Mexicano, New York's best authentic Mexican cuisine since 1984. Fall 2023, look at the renderings of this place. This is where the old PBR bar and restaurant used to be. We're here at the swimming pool. They have a flow rider surf deck over here. It's a really colorful area with day beds. They even have some tables here, a cafe. Not too big of a pool area, but it's still pretty nice. Right now, they're featuring two country artists, Keith Urban and Miranda Lambert here at their theater. It's not called Zappos anymore. It's called something else. Here are their table games that is closed right now and then right across the way is a cafe and a bar so they do have a little cafe here some foosball over here blue moon couches call this the scene and some ping pong tables as well the cabanas over here say you had me at hello ph and the scene is open to all ages nice little wall here with planet hollywood and some palm trees this is the swimming pool. Tons of cabanas surrounded as well. All the planters here are really colorful and then they also got the Eiffel Tower in the background because next door is Paris. They even have a little DJ stage here for the scene pool deck. Maybe on the weekends they have DJs out here. You have a nice view of City Center and Aria. If you haven't seen my Aria video, make sure you check that out. As well as my Paris video that I just did last month. They also have a bar over here with margaritas, strawberry margaritas, pina coladas. Pretty cool. He said you can't go surfing here in Las Vegas. This is the PH, the PH Low Rider. That's awesome. If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to JKation if you haven't yet. About 78% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel when watching the videos. And if you could help me out get to 100,000 subscribers in 2023, I'd be truly grateful for that. Let's go downstairs to the mezzanine and show some of the restaurants and theaters over there because I didn't cover that on the last video. I won't show you all of Miracle Mile, but we'll take a lap through it because this is one of my favorite malls here in Las Vegas. I've actually never ventured around a mezzanine area. They have a conference center and a business center around here. And and the bottom part of this is the casino grounds, but there are a few things you could check out here. I've always wanted to see Chris Angel, so maybe one of these days. This is the Chris Angel Theater right here. Mind Freak. Him and David Blaine are some of my favorite illusionists slash magicians. Would love to see them at some point. Maybe I'll do a Magic in Las Vegas video eventually and go to all these magic shows. That would be a pretty cool thing. Comment down below if you want to see that. Chris Angel is a huge motorcycle fan, and look at all these motorcycles that they have on display here in the mezzanine level. This is the street Strip house, steaks and cocktails. Nice little strip house. I haven't tried this ever. You should check this out one of these days too. And then this is Koi Lounge. Now they do offer you when you check in a buy one, get one drink ticket. Uh, they give you two of them with your room keys. And I think that's just because I was uh, checking in with Diamond, but it's buy one, get one from like 10 to 11 at night. And there you go. Downstairs is all the playing tables, slots and everything. We're going to head down towards Miracle Mile and just uh, take a quick little lap around there. They actually also have a chapel here, the wedding chapel. Nice and quaint. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. it's open and there is the chapel area. Right next to the chapel is Reflections, the spa at Planet Hollywood. And this is where you can get your to your fitness center too. All right, let's take a look at their fitness center. So here's the fitness center, but look, they have the old school Aladdin Arabian stuff over here. So it's not just over at the Miracle Mile shops, it's over here at the spa, Reflections. So here at the fitness center, you do have free weights. Those are some old school looking free weights. And about six treadmills, a few ellipticals, some steps, and a ton of machines. These are actually quite a bit of machines. You got your water and towels over here, some disinfecting wipes, and an area where you can do ab workouts and stretches and medicine balls. Not bad. And like I said, the old Aladdin decorations still exist over here at Reflections. And you can also go to the spa. And this is the entrance right here. Really cool and tranquil place before you get back out to the hustle and bustle of PH. It's not a trip to Planet Hollywood without a stop to Key Australia here at the Miracle Mile shops. You guys almost got to pry me out of Key Australia. I just bought buy one get one free stuff a few weeks back 
So I'm just gonna hold off, but they do have some new ones that are straight fire. One thing that's cool about Miracle Mile shops is that they do have two ABC stores, one on each side of the Miracle Mile. So depending on what part of the casino you're at or the resort you're at, you can go to either of the two. Blondie's just around the corner still has their $4.99 breakfast special and they have Bloody Mary's for $2.99 if that's what you're into. Here's the second ABC stores I was talking about and it's right next to the Lids. And this Lids is where I got this fire, Las Vegas, Reyes, Aviators hat and they always have the new styles over here. I'm gonna take a look inside here. This is the VGK Golden Knights trucker hat that I have. They have it in stock here. Even got my Padre City Connect up in here. And that's the hat I was rocking at the Vegas ballpark last night. Love this hat. We are now entering the Cheap Eats part of the Miracle Mile shops. And this is the Flights Bar where you can get drink deals. And Blondie's is right there. And La Salsa Cantina, which they also have a... It's now a $5.99 breakfast. It used to be $4.99. And it's right next to the Showgirl Bar. And there it is. The cost of inflation over the years. Up to $5.99 for breakfast and $0.99 cent Bloody Mary's still though. If you guys haven't seen my Planet Hollywood Cheap Eats video, check it out. The prices may have gone up about a dollar, but it's still pretty much the same Cheap Eats spots here. This right here is Ketchup. It's another Cheap Eats spot. You can get deals like $5 King Cans. And sometimes they have buy one, get one free hot dogs. And it's actually a pretty decent place. And they are promoting something new, the French Dip Burger. And this is the entrance to the parking lot. It's kind of far from the hotel itself. So it's kind of a walk. That's the disadvantage. Also at Miracle Mile, they have a house of hoops and your regular foot locker here as well. Also, you got the Hilton Grand Vacations Club, the Ilara, and their swimming pool. The entrance is right here and they have its own Starbucks coffee right next to it. And this is the part where they're renovating the Miracle Mile shop. Ocean One Bar and Grill. You've seen it on the Cheap Eats Planet Hollywood video. Prices have gone up there too, but they do have the three for one drinks for 12 bucks still. Looks like omelets are $8.99 now. Wow, they used to have plates for five bucks and six bucks here. And look at the line to get in here. It's always popping over here. People want to save. And of course, they still have the lobster meat and the Fat Tuesdays here. It's been here for ever. People seem to love Serial Killers Las Vegas. They have tons of different cereal. I've done a video in Barcelona about a cereal cafe and it's kind of like this. And the second Lids is over here as well as Champ Sports. So I had a similar setup in the downtown Grand where you go in through these double doors and there's a suite and I did stay at the suite at downtown Grand but I was staying in the regular room which is a little more spacious and right now they're changing all the locks on the door so these boxes are to change these locks there's a letter in here saying they're gonna do it see check this letter it just talks about how they're gonna be installing these new door handles and uh, yeah you have no choice but to let them do it <laughs> <laughs> All right, JKshitters, it is time for the ever so popular room review. So I ended up getting the king bedroom and I booked it through my Chase Sapphire Rewards because I had a few points and the prices for a Tuesday to Wednesday here on the Las Vegas Strip was astronomical. Like I think it was about $130, $140 on Caesars Rewards. So I used about $30 of my points and then another 30, I I paid for and then $50 for resort fee so it was about $102 altogether and when I did check in unfortunately they said that you can't use your Caesars rewards no resort fees they will not take away your resort fee if you're not booking it directly through Caesars rewards so make sure you guys know that I booked it through my Chase Sapphire reserve points and they didn't like that so even if you do like Expedia or something else they're not gonna accept it even if you have diamond you can check in on the diamond lounge and not fall in the line but they're not gonna give give you a refund on your resort fee, unfortunately. So the king bedroom, you get three pillows. I wish they had a few more. The bed sheets are okay. We're here in the very end. You have to go through two doors. Same type of decor. Some stylish models here with a peace sign over here and some models just posing awkwardly with different colors. And then you get a bed stand on each side with the phone, a couple of USB jacks, one outlet. Over here, you got a, another lamp and your alarm clock and a couple more chargers and then some drawers for that. Over here in the couch area, you got a nice little cream couch you can lay out. There's a TV down the way. It's not that big of a TV, but hey, nice and chill leather couch. I don't think it's a pull-out sofa, but uh, it's nice. You got a nice view of the F1 pit stop, Virgin Hotels, and the Tuscany Suites, which we're staying at next. Over this way, you have a stand-up lamp and a huge closet. Look, it's a 
walk-in closet. I think it's because we're right next to the suites. They had more room to make a closet. They give you a dresser drawer, three of them. Your safe is in there. I made use of that safe because they were doing all this construction stuff here. They even had to fix this drawer because it was broken. You have your ironing board, iron, and about eight or nine wooden hangers in there as well. Pretty big. And they even have a light in there, so you can actually just get dressed inside the closet. Right in front of the TV, it's an LG TV. You have two chairs and a round table. You can eat dinner or lunch here. Since I did check in through Diamond, the girl gave me the Suki Koi PH Casino Ultra Lounge drink ticket. Buy one, get one free Tuesday to Saturday. You have to read all the stipulations here. It says happy hour drink ticket. So offer starts nightly at five o'clock. So there you go. I'm not gonna use it. And then they also ask you if you wanna do room service. They have Caesars Eats and they can deliver it up here. And this is that letter I was telling you about where they were fixing the door handle. They haven't come here and fixed the door handle yet, but it's all good. Here in the entryway, you got some girl in a nice short skirt. Getting out of a car, <laughs> a little voyeuristic, I guess. You have this nice counter with your ice bucket. They give you like six cups, uh, Caesars, Adele magazine. You got Dominic Ansel. We tried his cronut. There he is. That's the man behind the cronut, croissant and donut. And then down below here, another thing I like about Caesars properties, except Cromwell didn't have a personal refrigerator. They had a room bar, but not a refrigerator that you put stuff in. I put all the food from Las Vegas ballpark in here so I could still eat the chicken sandwich and the pulled pork sandwich they gave me as well as the salad bowl that they gave me last night too. I'm probably gonna take that over to Tuscany and eat that for a late dinner. Yeah, nice. This is a pretty big entryway. And you also get your double lock. You grab this and you pull the lever up top. Now to the bathroom, you got this Asian girl with the headphones on. It was the same exact type of mural that they had last time we stayed here, but I could have totally used the bathtub here. I like it, it's nice and bright and white and cream colors. You have a mirror and a his and her sink. Huge toiletry space, tissue paper, soap. They give you body soap, uh, shower gel, lotion, all that good stuff. The Jose Bear brand. They even have a glass shelf down below. That's also where you get your hair dryer. They give you body soap, tons of towels. I should have just brought my bubble bath over here. And I like how the mirror is well lit on all four sides. Toilet is nice and low to the ground so you can squat and do your business in the morning. And then here in the shower, okay, this was the one kind of uh, shower did not get warm. It was like lukewarm and it was kind of cold and I had to shower fast because I don't like cold showers. I love long, hot showers. Pretty spacious, nice and white inside this room. And I do like that it has lights on all four sides. One thing I noticed here is that they don't have a full length mirror. They could put something here, but it's a blank wall. That kind of makes it very bland. And then there's no decorations in the entryway. So I don't know, I'm not really feeling this ultra hip king room. So overall, I would say Planet Hollywood, it is a great place for your cheap eats destinations. You have your Earl's Sandwich, your Ocean One down there, La Salsa Cantina, Blondies, and all the other great cheap eats. And you have the Miracle Mile shops and it's pretty center of the strip. But for the room stay, there's always some sort of problem. This room is nice and spacious. That's the positives. You do get your personal refrigerator, huge closet. It is a little quieter here, but I didn't like the guest services. When I checked in a diamond, they were kind of very dry and they weren't very nice. Like gotta treat people with respect. They expect you to know everything that they know. I don't know. I guess since I'm a former Disney cast member, that's just not the Disney way. You gotta treat people with respect regardless. They were just very direct and like kind of short. So I wasn't a fan of that, but eh, the pool here is nice. I really enjoyed the pool area. And like I said, the cheap eats are great for $102 stay here. That was a little too pricey for me. I'd like to stay here for about 50 to $60, especially for a room like this, especially if there's gonna be problems. Cold shower was not a plus. Planet Hollywood this time around kinda was the same as the last time. It was like kinda eh. Stay wise, I probably wouldn't wanna stay here unless it's a really cheap deal, but cheap eats wise, Heck yes. So hope you guys like this hotel tour and hotel review of Planet Hollywood in 2023. F1's coming soon. If you guys want to see more videos from me here in Las Vegas, giving you tours of other hotels, comment down below what you'd like to see or other food places you'd like to see me do. Please hit that like button. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. And please subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers in 2023. We're almost there. We're like at 90 plus thousand subscribers by the time you see this video. If you didn't see my first Planet Hollywood video, check it up right here and we'll see you in the next one jaycationers and in the words of me stay traveling las vegas let's go uh -huh.